Okay, um, so hello everyone. Today, um, I will show you how you can install a Windows XP virtual machine in your Linux system. Essentially, essentially table based. For that, I will be using virtual machine manager. Um, this. So, um, I already have a virtual machine. So today, I will be setting up setting up a Windows XP virtual machine. To set up a uh, Windows XP virtual machine, we first need its ISO. So to get the ISO, let's open Firefox. So uh, we will just search Windows XP SP3 Celestech 3 um, download. So we will just go to archive.org from here. We will download the torrent file and from using the torrent file, we will download the ISO. Um, I recommend torrent file because uh, the default ISO in direct download link it is really slow. So we will just download the torrent file. It is downloaded, so we will just open it. So you can just download this torrent file using any of your um, torrent downloaders. I have deluge, you can use any other like cubic torrent, um, new torrent, big torrent, etc. So you have to download uh, this file, this one here. So this is our IS file, others are just unnecessary. You can also download XML file also because it has our um, this product, product key, so that is all. So you will once you edit, it will download and after it is downloaded, you will have the uh, torrent file. So uh, once you are downloaded, we will open the virtual machine manager. This and then we will click on new virtual machine. Here we want to ins install using ISMH. So you will just browse the ISMH. I I browse the here now. So I just browse, open system, load, and then I have to go for Windows XP XP3 ISO this file. I will just choose it and then follow it. Um, 500 MB is enough for this, but I will just go for 248 MB. I have to give away. If you want to see this is more than enough, I will just go for 4 um, for fast processing. Then you will just move forward. Um, you have to create, its, uh, create a disk file. So we will just create a uh, disk from here. So we will just create a disk Windows XP. So we will just create a 10 GB disk. That's 10 GB is more than enough. So we will just click on finish and then choose volume. And then we will click on forward. So here we, will, we can just rename our resolution. Uh, uh, so Windows XP. Um, and then we will just customize network and network selection this. I don't need to customize the page, so but uh, I'll just go to menu and then enable share menu, apply, and then you can just click on begin installation. We we'll just click on view, scale display audio, so, uh, our display is in full screen. We can also go for full screen, so let it um, load the set of files. So we will we'll click on continue and then we will have to press F, press SA to activate the license agreement and then we will click on enter because there is a 10 GB space. We will format the partition uh, like the format name is good, uh, fine for it. So we will just click enter here and then it will format the disk. Once formatted it will start uh, uh, copying the required set of files and let it copy we we'll wait for it it will take only a minute or two so it has copied all the set of files now we will just press enter to restart our system um when it restarts it will go into the setup now uh, the main setup for the xp So it has it says 30, 39 minutes, but it won't take 39 minutes because first of all it's in a VM and second um in this 39 minutes is with respect to the hard disk time. So uh, at the time when the USB was launched, SSDs were not there, so it's based on hard disk uh, hard disk speeds. So uh, it will be much more faster. Let's wait for a few seconds. So uh, it, it has a uh, set of our region, uh, region and language. So we will go for next and we type a name for now and then we will press the next. 
so here we can try to copy so for that we will go back we size of the sender and then I run the direction of our content uh, product key or so I just copy the product key from there and then just do it here I will give it in the description for uh, the past for you so I will start the product key mrx 3 f 47 b 19 24870 24870 KWKMF RPWPY So this is what we will do next now Close this file Next messages And then Let's name our computer name to Windows Windows Yeah Windows and then uh, this is the time zone we are in India so we will choose for India yeah, and then next so uh, now it will install the rest of the thing it will barely take one to two minutes so let's just wait for it so it has completed the installation so, Let's wait for the boot to boot in like two three seconds. So in the first time, it will set up the display um, resolution and other video settings. So this is how it works. So we we'll just go next, and then we don't need our other other because it's already updated. Next, just run in the scroll. We can set up other views as well. So next. Finish. So it's now welcome. It will go to the desktop. Yeah, there's the desktop. Classic old desktop. The old computer. And we probably will have our involved games as well. Yeah, the, the old classic game. So we will just set up the display first. And yeah, resolution to. Now that, that's it is now. So that's now. So that is the thing. So this the uh, next stop. We can we can just play a pinball game. Or you can just see task manager here. This is the old task manager, so the home CPU usage one percent. So RAM usage per day from the yeah, yeah, 2 GB RAM, 1.8 GB free, on the 165 GB and that, and that's all. So we can just play our number of game here. Um, we need to for internet and other things for audio and stuff. We need to get the driver. So, uh, it will it is a topic for some other video. We will see that in at some other video. We can just play the classic football game. So that is all for this and this information uh, setup. I will just turn on the computer terminal and then I will also set up its RAM to 5120. 5120 is uh, that should be fine. We will just run this somewhat. Like 5120 is, uh, is more than enough for Windows XP. I will see it works properly. Great. We will just set on the system again. Terminal. That is all. Um, by default, virtual machine only takes care of all the default settings for Windows XP. So it works properly. And that is all for this video. Thank you. And see you later.